You trust me. I do. Two billion dollars in 10 days. It's almost like Marvel just snapped its fingers and all the box office records disappeared. years ago I fought my way out of that cave became Iron Man realized I loved you I know I said no more surprises but I was really hoping to pull off one last one taking the number one spot for now and the foreseeable future is Avengers Endgame bringing in an estimated 145.8 million dollars in its second weekend out. Endgame is now one of just six films to ever gross $100 million or more in its sophomore weekend. Oh, and if you're wondering, four out of five of those films are courtesy of the Mouse House. In other not so surprising news, Avengers Endgame is making money hand over fist at the foreign box office and shows no signs of slowing down. I've got 10 bucks in my pocket, I have nothing to offer you, and I know how the world works. I'm flying! After passing 1997's Titanic, Endgame is now the second highest grossing movie in box office history, with $2.1 billion in worldwide ticket sales. But it's still nearly $600 million away from the number one spot. Still don't really get the Avatar thing. Ah well, on to number two. You're not gonna believe this. Charlie is outside cutting the grass. What? Did you just get this out of the garage? That's where I keep it. Thought you'd be gone by now. That's hard. Hard to say goodbye. Grabbing the scraps that Avengers didn't bother with is The Intruder, bringing in an estimated $11 million in its debut weekend. That's a better than expected opening for this relatively cheap film. The Intruder only cost the folks at Screen Gems Studios $8 million to produce, so everything after this weekend is profit. This box office success comes in spite of terrible reviews. Dennis Quaid, Megan Good, and Michael Ealy collectively couldn't get the tomato meter past 30% for their suburban thriller. And finally, in third place this weekend is Seth Rogen's Long Shot, performing below expectations with an estimated $10 million in its debut weekend. Unlike The Intruder, Longshot carried great critical reviews, but just couldn't get moviegoers to the theater. Or more to the point, couldn't get them in the right theater. As for next week, Ryan Reynolds corrupts your childhood just a little. Get me the hell out of here!